hello, hello to my wonderful gaggle. Oh, I'm so glad you could join me for today's Mother Goose session. I'm Mother Goose Emily, and I'll be your Mother Goose for today. So today's story is about two mischievous little crocodiles. And it's called Solomon and Mortimer. It was written by Catherine Rayner. Do you ever feel mischievous? Do you like getting into mischief? Or if you're bored, do you ever just find yourself in it? If so, then you might relate to Solomon and Mortimer. As usual, I borrowed this book from my local library. And if you enjoy it, I'd recommend you check out your local library and see if they have a copy or of another book that you might love just as much. So Solomon and Mortimer by Catherine Rayner. Let's get into it, shall we? So it starts. It's another calm day on the banks of the river, but it won't stay that way for long because Hmm, I wonder why it won't stay that way for long. Do you have any ideas on why? Or do you see any reason why? Hmm, I think I see two crocodiles hiding in the plants and the reeds of the river. Do you see them? Hmm. But it won't stay that way for long because... Uh-oh, here comes two bored little crocodiles. It's Solomon and Mortimer, and they're looking for some fun. Will you, will you count? We've got two crocodiles. Will you count them with me? One and two. Solomon and Mortimer. They're bored, and they're looking for fun. Hmm, what do you like to do when you're bored and looking for some fun? Personally, as you might guess, I love to read and I also enjoy some singing and dancing and other activities too. So what's your favorite thing to do when you're bored and looking for fun? Hmm, that does sound fun. I wonder if any of those ideas would work for Solomon and Mortimer. Well, let's see what they can come up with, shall we? They've tried climbing trees, which didn't go well. Climbing trees can be fun, but you have to be careful. And I didn't think, but I didn't think crocodiles could climb trees. Hmm, I wonder, do you know? I don't think they can, which saying they didn't have much luck. And look, can you tell me, aside from crocodiles that don't usually climb trees, why aren't they having much luck? I see swarms of bees. They must have disturbed them when they were climbing. You shouldn't agitate bees. You just let them do their work. I wonder what else poor, our two poor little crocodiles. I wonder what else they'll come up with to try and have some fun. And they've tried chasing lizards, but the lizards weren't keen. There they are, two crocodiles trying to play with other smaller reptiles, but mm, they aren't interested and you can't force them to play with you. You can't force people to play with you. Flying looked fun, but it proved much too tricky. So far, nothing had quite gone to plan. Here we are, we've got Solomon and Mortimer, and look, they're looking up at the flamingos flying. Flying does seem fun, but much like us people, crocodiles can't fly. Well, I suppose people can on airplanes and such, but not on their own. And crocodiles can't either. Yeah, but it does seem fun, doesn't it? What else are they going to come up with? Do you have ideas? Let's see, let's see if they're right. So the bored little crocodiles sul sulk down to the river where the biggest hippo is wallowing quietly. Solomon smiles and thinks up a new plan. If 
we surprise him, he'll make such a big splash. What do you think of that plan? Here are two crocodiles down by the river. Now, there's our hippo. Do you see him? What do you think of that plan? Right, they're going to surprise him to see if they can make him make a big splash. I'm going to try and prank him. The biggest hippo won't spy us here, Solomon whispers as Mortimer quivers and grins. But some passing pelicans shout from the air, Solomon and Mortimer, what are you doing? Shh, hiss the crocodile's hippo's ears wiggle. My ears can't wiggle, but a hippo can. Hippos can. How about you? Can you wiggle your ears? They're trying to be quiet and sneak up on hippo, but Pelican's calling out to them, saying, what are you doing? What are you up to? Crocodile says, shh, they're trying to sneak up on Hippo. What do you think? Did Hippo notice them? Let's keep reading. Let's see. Solomon and Mortimer sneak nearer and nearer, but some basking butterflies call suspiciously. Solomon and Mortimer, why are you hiding? Shh, they hiss. Hippo's eye swivels. Hippo's eye swivels. There they are, they're still they're trying to creep quietly. They're trying to sneak up on Hippo. The people around them are calling out to them. They're suspicious. There's, I wonder what activities Mortimer and Solomon usually get up to. Everyone's so, so suspicious of what they're up to. What do you think? Has Hippo noticed them now, or are they still all good? Hmm, we'll see if you're right. Two cautious crocodiles creep closer than ever. But an old toad croaks loudly. Solomon and Mortimer, you're up to no good. Shh, they hiss. Hippo's tail twitches ever so slightly. Yep, so see, everyone's calling out to them. What are you doing? You must get into mischief and trouble a lot. You think, does Hippo know they're there? Is their plan going to go off successfully? Or are they going to surprise Hippo? Solomon and Mortimer are perfectly positioned. What a big splash that hippo will make! They chuckle naughtily. There they are. They're getting into position. I think is the plan gonna work? Is it gonna work? Are they gonna surprise hippo? They hold their breath. Their eyes tightly closed. Squatting low in the water, they're ready to leap when... What do you think? They're there. They're in position. They're in the water. They're crouched down low. Their eyes are shut. And they're holding their breath. They're ready to leap. And there's Hippo. You see Hippo there? Am I going to surprise him? Is it going to work? When they're, they're ready to leap when... Boo! Shouts the hippo. Oh no, it looks like the hippo did know they were there and he turned it around and surprised them instead. Look at them all. Did it surprise, what do you think? Did it surprise Solomon and Mortimer? Does it look like they're surprised? Did it surprise you, that big boo? So boo, shouts the hippo. Go the crocodiles! Surprise! The hippo surprised them instead. There's water everywhere. Splashing can be fun, though maybe not when you're startled. I don't. I'm not fond of that. How about you? Splashing can be fun. Splashing in the water. Is swimming an activity that you like when you're bored? So splash! Go the crocodiles! So turn it around. There's water everywhere. See? Ha <laughs> ha Splitter Solomon, you made us jump. 
and everybody giggles with glee. Who would have thought that such a big splash came from two little crocodiles, just Mortimer and me. And there are two crocodiles, Solomon and Mortimer. They've got all these other animals that we're interacting with earlier there. There's bees, and toads, there's butterflies, flamingos, pelicans, and there is Hippo. And everybody's laughing. They were okay with the surprise being turned around on them. They didn't mind, which is good, I guess, if they're going to do it somewhere else. They don't mind that they turned it around on them. And everybody's having fun. They got their fun after all. All joking together. It's nice, isn't it? Just Mortimer. So say, who would have thought such a big splash would come from two little crocodiles? Just Mortimer and me. And that's the end of our story. So if you are playing pranks, maybe make sure you're okay if it's turned around on you too. Next time you're looking for some mischief, maybe you can think of some of the things we thought of. Or maybe in the books, like climbing trees or swimming. Or something nice, like reading, singing, there's lots of things to do. And I hope you enjoyed that tale of our two mischievous little crocodiles. Our song today involves a lot of different animals too, and different songs and uh, for and different noises and actions, sorry, and it has a lot of repetition. Although we do try and say something with most of every verse. Will you sing it with me, sing along with me, do the actions? All right, let's start and try, shall we? It goes, There was a crocodile and a orangutan, a flying eagle and a slippery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant, na 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 There was a chomp, chomp, and a orangutan, a flying eagle and a slippery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant. Na 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 na. na. There was a chomp chomp, and a grunt grunt, and a flying eagle and a slippery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant. Na 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 na. na. There was a chomp, chomp, and a grunt, grunt, and a caw, caw, and a slippery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant, na 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 There was a chomp, chomp, and a grunt, grunt, and a caw, caw, and a glub, glub, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant, na 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 There was a chomp chomp, and a grunt grunt, and a caw caw, and a glub glub, and a boing, a beaver, a crazy elephant, na 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 There was a chomp chomp, and a grunt grunt, and a caw caw, and a glub glub, and a boing, a chomp, a crazy elephant, na 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 na. There was a chomp chomp, and a grunt grunt, and a caw caw, and a glub glub, a boing, a chomp, and a woo. There was a, one more time, let's from the start again. There was a crocodile and a orangutan, a flying eagle and a slippery fish, a bunny, a beaver, a crazy elephant, na 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 And that's our song for today. I hope you had fun singing it. I know I did realistic all those noises or actions are but still it's fun and some of them might be so all we have left for today now is our goodbye song would you sing that with me also all right let's start start shall we it goes 
See you later, alligator, in a wild crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. <sighs> See you soon, big baboon, out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear, wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye-bye, butterfly. I hope you had as much fun as I did, and I'll see you again soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye, butterfly.